Hello friends, this is Umesh and welcome to another Arduino lesson. In this lesson, we will going to learn how to connect a piezo buzzer to an Arduino Uno so that we can generate a various different tone and use that in our project. And always it's a great to use some kind of uh, music or the sound in our project to make project mo much more interesting. So in this case, we will be using a piezo buzzer and piezo buzzer are really easy to understand. If you look at piezo buzzer, how it looks like, it has a two legs. The longer leg of the piezo buzzer is a the positive and the shorter leg of the piezo buzzer is a negative. So the positive and positive leg of the piezo buzzer will going to connect to pin number 11 on Arduino Uno and the shorter leg of the piezo buzzer will connect to the ground. As you can see upper right corner of my screen I have given the schematic that way you will going to connect your piezo buzzer to an Arduino Uno. Now to generate a different tone in your project you must have to uh, write a program and in the program Let's start writing a program by the way. So let me take one variable. Let me declare one integer variable called buzzer. Okay, and this buzzer is equals to 11 because we're going to connect um, the pizza buzzer to pin number 11. Make sure the longer leg of your piezo buzzer is connected to pin number 11. That's why we have taken the buzzer as a 11. Now in the setup function, we don't need to write anything. Rather in the loop function, we should use a function uh, called tone. So tone is basically a built-in Arduino function which takes two parameters. The first parameter is the buzzer, means the pin number. Uh, so first parameter is a pin number. So here we have connected this buzzer to 11. So we write buzzer here and then we have to pass the frequency so the frequency is nothing but the frequency using which we will going to generate a square wave on pin number 11 if you have not watched my previous lesson about pulse width modulation i would highly recommend you to check that lesson so that you can understand much more uh, better for but for now i'm going to write 450 okay this will be uh, the the hertz and then i will going to write a delay of uh, say for example one second is fine or it would not look better let's see one second one second may be too much so let me just make a 500 milliseconds and then there is another function in Arduino uh, it's uh, it's a no tone so um, the way it works is by the way let's finish this so no tone is a built-in Arduino function which takes one parameter which is nothing but the pin to which you have connected your buzzer so here we have pin number 11 and then we're gonna take a delay of 500 milliseconds once again so it generates um, uh, a frequency it clocked the square wave with the frequency 450 Hertz and uh, after every half a second it will generate so this basically program will generate a kind of bip after every 500 milliseconds right so now the thing is uh, what is this no tone no tone is by the way because in Arduino you can generate uh, the tone only once on one pin right you cannot generate a multiple tone on multiple multiple so you cannot use the tone functions to uh, so you cannot have you know multiple tone to be generated so uh, if you generate a tone on pin number 11 okay that means a buzzer then you have to release you have to free this pin uh, and then only you can uh, write another tone so that is that that's the reason why we uh, set the frequency 450 uh, clock frequency here to generate a square wave and then we free this pin number 11 right I hope you get it what I mean but let's upload the sketch and see what happens now so let me press upload button you can see right now I can hear some kind of bip after every 500 milliseconds okay so if I make this to one second okay then let's modify the program and upload the code again and see the changes it's a bit longer right the pitch goes a little bit longer for one second but I hope uh, you get what I mean right so because this buzzer is very annoying for now so I can remove Arduino for a second and uh, let's modify this program as such that after every five seconds we will beep 
we will generate uh, the tone a bip uh, two times so after every five second there will be two time it will bip so what I'm going to do is I am going to write this program in which I will going to use a do while loop so I will say do and then in a curly bracket okay and then while okay and this control structure that we have to use so in the do I will define one variable integer i and that will be zero and then I will say I plus plus okay and then I have to say tone of course and uh, then in the tone function I would have to say tone okay then we have to write buzzer okay and then we have to write a frequency with which we want to clock so let's say 450 take 450 once again and we'll say when i is less than 3 okay then we want to generate a bip so by the way what i'm going to do is i will take this uh, variable integer i outside of do so okay this looks a little bit better right and uh, then after a while i'm going to delay for five seconds so 500 milliseconds okay no 5000 milliseconds so it's a five second and this tone i want to generate after every 200 milliseconds so it will look a little bit uh, better when we hear this so i'm going to give little respect no tone and uh, then buzzer again and then say delay once again and put let's say 200 milliseconds delay again right so basically what it does is it will uh, bip this uh, I think the 3 or 2 2 is okay you know okay let's do this so this will bip two times okay after every 200 milliseconds and then after five seconds it will bip again two times right so let me upload the code and um, let me connect my Arduino first and then upload the sketch and uh, wait for a second and then this tone will change okay seems it's done uploading so look at this so after every five second it beeps two time right okay it's I think we should change like five seconds is too much so I will give a four or maybe three three is okay I guess let's upload and now see what happens looks better right so after every three seconds it beeps after every I mean after every three seconds the, the the buzzer generates a bit two times right with 200 milliseconds delay so this is how you will going to use this uh, pizza buzzer in your project and it will make your project much more interesting I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining if you have not subscribed this channel then I will um, I will ask you to please subscribe thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye for now